Welcome to another presentation of Clinical Tips in Equine Reproduction. Our goal is to provide horse owners and breeding managers with practical information regarding stallions, mares, or newborn foals. Today we will discuss Hi, I'm Dr. Pat McHugh, a veterinarian at the Equine Reproduction Lab at Colorado State University. Today we're going to talk about the use of lights to stimulate early reproduction in mares and to advance the onset of the breeding season. The natural breeding season of mares in North America extends from April to October. A majority of mares shut down reproductively during the winter months, and left to themselves, mares won't start to cycle again until the following April or even early May. Since many horse owners want to breed their mares prior to April or May, techniques have been developed to advance that first ovulation of the year. The most common technique is to use a stimulatory photo period to ad advance the reproduction and to mimic springtime conditions. Let's go to a stall and see how the system actually works. In a typical 12 by 12 foot stall or 14 by 14 foot stall, a, uh, a standard 200 watt light bulb will provide a sufficient light to stimulate the reproductive activity of the mare. Or alternatively, one can use a fluorescent lights to accomplish the same thing. So it really doesn't matter whether it's a fluorescent light or an incandescent light. The, the rule of thumb is that as long as the correct amount of light is achieved and the correct duration of light is achieved, it should stimulate reproductive activities in the mares. So the standard recommendation is to start light therapy around December 1st, realizing that it takes about 60 to 70 days of that photo period to stimulate reproductive activity, so that by, uh, by early to mid-February, most mares under, a light, uh, under, under light therapy will start to cycle. So the components of the, the treatment are, are a light bulb, either, either an incandescent light or a fluorescent light, and a timer. In this particular timing system, the light is set to go on, to be turned on around 4.30 in the evening and set to turn off at 11 o'clock at night. So ultimately what we try to provide is around 16 hours of light and allow around eight hours of darkness. Horses can be outside during the day, brought in the evening into their stall. The timers are turned on so that the lights come on and automatically shut off around 10.30 or 11 o'clock at night. Again, that allows about 16 hours of light and about eight hours of darkness. What we're actually trying to do is interrupt the pattern of melatonin secretion. Melatonin is secreted at night during the hours of darkness. If we can provide more day length by the combination of natural day length in our artificial light program, that essentially shrinks the period of darkness. And that will shrink the, the period where melatonin is secreted. And that decrease in melatonin secretion pattern is what actually stimulates early reproductive, reproductive activity in the mare. The take home message is that it, uh, it takes around 60 to 70 days of an artificial photo period to stimulate reproductive activity in horses. We want to achieve about 10 foot candles of, of light uh, that the mares are exposed to and then, um, and then add a, a, at least three or four extra hours of light after the time of dusk. And if we accomplish all of that, and if we start on around December 1st, most mares will be cycling by early to mid-February.